be offering some specials at our open house. So you can call or check on that and get, get in on that special. This is uh, pre-holiday prepping for all your parties, family pictures, and this is just what we've talked about earlier, care and maintenance and prevention. Everybody. I'm Lucy Douglas. I'm a family nurse practitioner and I'm owner and CEO of New Beginnings Wellness Center and Spa in Ruston, Louisiana. So if you missed my previous video, I had a thing done yesterday. I had a microneedling treatment. So that's why I look a little bit red, got a few little bit of bruises. So I'm a little more than 22 hours post procedure. So I'm getting ready to do a microneedling treatment on my medical assistant, Tracy, so that you can see the sort of the steps and how this is done. You can see that she'll be very comfortable. You can see that she looks like a, a baked good and that we have saran wrap all over her. We've already cleaned and we've numbed. I'm getting ready to start on her decollete. So we've numbed this area and I've cleaned the numbing cream off and I'm getting ready to apply a gliding agent that just helps the pen glide across the skin. So this is called Skin Pen. This is the first FDA cleared device for microneedling in the United States. So what is microneedling? It's exactly what it says. So you can see this is a sterile hub. This has 14 needles and I can adjust the depth at which I'm applying this. And so that that is penetrating down into the dermis at a specified depth to create a controlled micro injury and thereby setting into motion the healing, the growth factors that will stimulate collagen and help improve some of the fine lines you see on the decollete. Tracy's been a sun lover and and she probably sleeps on her side so there's some lines there and as we get older we have a loss in collagen and so those lines can be, kind of become part of the landscape and so with regular microneedling treatments we can impact the quality and health of the skin and keep um, growth occurring instead of skin getting lax and dull and the fine lines becoming permanently embedded. So I'm going to go in just a very controlled fashion. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on her. How are you? Comfortable? I'm good. Yes. I'm overlapping slightly. This is her second needling treatment. Did you, was it about four to six weeks ago mm -hmm. when you did your first one? We did not do her decollete last time. So I had mine done last night. And it's just, you know, you don't want to ignore this part of your body. Because this can show age significantly. So this just keeps you looking fresh. We recommend a series of three treatments to begin with to kind of get the healing cascade started. And we recommend that we do those about four to six weeks apart. And we typically um, sell these in a package. And so for each individual treatment, it's $300 for a needling and for a package of three, we're gonna be offering some specials at our open house. So you can call or check on that and get, get in on that special. This is uh, pre-holiday prepping for all your parties, family pictures. And this is just what we've talked about earlier, care and maintenance and prevention. You okay? Yes, ma'am. I can adjust the depth if I feel like she's tolerating it well. And I want to get a little bit more aggressive. I can do that.
we, we numb and apply the saran wrap close to the skin to allow that numbing agent to penetrate well so that the patient is very comfortable during the treatment. These areas with more skin and sub-Q are typically not the uncomfortable areas. Um, the bony areas can be the problem where, where if there were to be some mild discomfort, that's where it's going to be. So you can see a little bit of redness developing because I've injured the dermis. And we did that on purpose, but with that sterile hub, the needles have a coating. So it's very scientifically designed to penetrate in an organized fashion. So some people are knowing about needling and they're going online and on Amazon or other sites and they're wanting to buy those rollers and I strongly recommend that you avoid those. Those have actually been shown to, to drag and to tear the skin and they're and it's so small that you would not be able to see it and so that can actually um, have a an exact opposite effect of what we're doing here using this this very controlled medical device to stimulate that superficial injury and then set forth the healing. Tracy actually has really good skin, despite her being a sun lover. But she's also been on a ZO skin regimen, and we talked about that previously. So if you didn't see my other video, go back and look at that, where I talk about the importance of prepping for one of these more intense procedures so that you get the max benefit and result. So Tracy's been on her ZO. And so she, is get, she was getting her skin ready for her second microneedling treatment. And I typically make three passes or so. You don't want to do too much and then injure the skin or, or over treat the skin. So this is just a cool towel. I'm just wiping off some of that gliding gel. And then I'm going to apply a recovery cream. So what I've done by needling the skin is I've opened thousands and thousands of channels. And so we have the opportunity with those channels being open to apply this recovery cream that goes down into those channels and then augments the healing process that's been set into motion. And so for the first 24 hours after a needling procedure, we have a very specific cleanser and then the recovery cream that we send home as your post care. Because it's extremely important that we take good care of the skin. So we can't use any retinols for 72 hours um, after this procedure and no makeup for 24 hours. And I was probably a little bit, um, for myself, I went a little bit longer after previous needling treatments before I reintroduced any of my retinol products just because I'm a little sensitive anyway. This feels really good going on. Mm -hmm. Just calms everything down. You're gonna feel really tight after this and you can see it kind of looks like she's got a sunburn and that's totally normal. I was pretty scalded last night after mine the bony area over the nose, the upper lip, the forehead, those can be the sensitive areas, but we grease you up really well with the numbing agent and then apply the saran wrap. And we can, microneedling is one of the few treatments that you can actually get pretty close to the eye. We can actually take the pin up to the lash line. I'll show you how I do that safely without um, putting her eyeball in danger, but that way we can really get at fine lines under the eye and help improve crepey texture. Another thing that we can do with microneedling is we can add what we call PRP. That stands for platelet-rich plasma. And we actually bring the patient in and part of the prepping is drawing your own blood. When we draw that blood 
and we spin it down and we separate the red blood cells from the growth factor. So there's growth factors in your own blood. And so we use those in needling. I can actually inject, I mix it with some lidocaine because of the pH of the PRP, it can burn if it's injected down into the skin. I've had it injected into mine. I was, I was, I could not be still. Um, but injecting it down into areas where you might want filler, say in the nasolabial fold, weakening in the chin and lower face, volume loss here, even under the eye, that can be reconstituted with some lidocaine and then placed down deeper into the skin and also some used topically and needled in. So that can really stimulate some healing, giving us a more brighter complexion and diminishing over time those fine lines and even correcting some areas of volume loss. I, um, I saw a provider earlier that was actually with a cannula and was injecting the PRP down into the, the um, tear trough because this client was concerned about dark circles. So they were starting foundation again, correcting what they could using the patient's own growth factors and then placing that there to allow that over time to begin to stimulate collagen there and give a brighter appearance. And so it's recommended that whether you're doing just microneedling or microneedling with PRP, that you um, do a series of three. And then it said thereafter, you can do one once or twice a year for maintenance of that result. Because again, it's all about all of these, these wonderful interventions, one being built on another. It's also good for the acne scar. Yes, we've done some really nice work um, with the acne scars with the microneedling. We can change the depth of the pen and we can concentrate our focus on, most people have, you know, a, an acne scar here or there. There are a few clients have had more of a patch there on the cheek, but we can address that using the pen and, and the PRP and it's pretty awesome. Getting those little fine lines around the mouth. I know that I sleep on my back. And of course, gravity is gonna cause my chin to dip down during the night. And so I can, I like to get my, my underside of my chin needled to keep that line that wants to form from getting just cemented into my skin. You okay? I can't feel it. You can't feel it? Not at all. Okay, awesome. This can help with pores. A lot of women are concerned with enlarged pores on their nose and around the nose. And this microneedling can really help with that in combination with the right skin care, especially if you tend to be oily. We can also use uh, superficial injections of, of one of the toxins, Botox or Xeomin, to help with pores and oil control in this part of the face. I'm gonna go real slow and I'm gonna to talk to you, like how are you, how are you, how are you, at each point, so that I'm knowing that I'm getting the job done, but that you're as comfortable as you possibly can be. Just kind of pulling the skin down and I'm moving away from the eye. I still can't feel that. You can't feel it. No. <laughs> so that I'm getting those fine lines, the smile lines. Now I'm not gonna come on the eyelid, but when we move up to the forehead, we've numbed the brow area, and you'll see what I can do to help just microneedle just that upper edge of the brow so that we can get a good tightening and texture improvement there as well. But we're careful to avoid the eye itself. So for the first 24 hours, she will wash. She can wash tonight with just tepid water and her gentle cleanser and just very gently pat dry and then apply either this rescue cream or her growth factor, 
which has no retinol in it, very gentle, won't irritate her, and that's what she'll do. No makeup for 24 hours. With her having had that saran wrap on and this numbing, God, your brows look fabulous. Molly. Henna, right? Mm -hmm. Henna mm -hmm. treatment on her brows yesterday. They look amazing. So this is going to be much more comfortable than if I just had applied numbing and left it on for 15 minutes then come and wipe it off. Okay. One thing I want to mention is that, I don't know, can we see that scar? So I had a little surgery on my elbow in about 2002 and when we were receiving some training yesterday, the rep says, well, why don't I do your scar? So we numbed it up and he, this is just one treatment on that scar and he said this is exactly what the desired response is. I bled just a little at the time of the treatment, um, but by the time I went home and removed the little dressing that we had put on, we just had put the rescue cream on it and then just covered it with a little bit of gauze. Um, and I took it off, it was fine. It had stopped bleeding, it just looked pretty much like this. So I put the rescue cream on it and went to bed. So he said it'll take about a week to heal. So we did take a before picture. So you think about a scar, so he mentioned breast augmentation scars, C-section or tummy tuck scars. So we can actually microneedle scars, the principle applying here that we're doing a superficial injury to that area and then stimulating the growth factors and the healing. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens with that. That is a microneedling treatment. You look beautiful. Thank you. Just a little pink. So we'll be doing more things like this, showing you some of the services that we do so that you can get acquainted with them and have your questions answered. And so we'll be uh, creating some additional information on our webpage to talk about this new uh, device that we've brought in. And there's some also some other new things that are gonna be coming really soon. So um, stay tuned. Thank you so much for being with us today and I look forward to talking to you again soon.